My name is Andy Davison from Furtec. The idea originally started, or the thought behind it originally started, when, uh, when I was a teenager walking in the Lake District and uh, be out in expensive, waterproof, breathable garments, getting a bit cold and damp and seeing sheep merrily munching on the grass up in the hills. And I suppose then I was thinking, well, you know, how, how come animals can survive outdoors in all sorts of different conditions just with what they're wearing on the back all the time when we've got all this technical kit and loads of things that we carry along uh, and still we, uh, we suffer a bit. So that is, that's sort of the, the background behind it. And as it turns out, animals have all sorts of different types of fur, but the most waterproof furs that you get in otters, and there's uh, animals like the, the water buck in Africa that lives, lives in, uh, in wetlands. They have long guard hairs that, first of all, slow down the momentum of rain, and a denser inner fur that traps lots of air in it, but also natural body oils that uh, are exuded into the fur fibres to make them water repellent. So it's really those three elements that make, make the system work. I mean, the, the, the body oils, for example, are very obvious in things like the water book because uh, in Africa you don't eat the water book because the meat is always tainted by these oils that are actually in the fur. But I also came across uh, something in Australia, in some of the wetter regions of Australia, in years gone by, the Aboriginals would wear the skins with the fur facing outwards for, for rainproofing. So, you know, it's not something that's, relative, that's new that I'm sort of developing. I'm just taking these ideas from nature and from what other people have discovered in the past. But more recently, I've been really trying to figure out exactly how these sorts of systems work, exactly why uh, I was getting wet in, in other clothing, in, in conditions that weren't necessarily extremely bad in terms of extremely heavy rain, but had lots of drizzly conditions for all day long. And I've been working on um, the next set of products, a um, couple of generations beyond this one that I'm wearing. And I've been in touch with College Cigar and they'd helped me with some uh, pattern development. And I realised that um, they had fantastic expertise there and equipment. 